What is going on, everybody? RZ here back in the video. Here today, we're we'll watching the X Files season four, episode 16. Last episode was good. I'm just ready to see what's going to happen. I'm ready for Morgan and Scully. Bro, I really want Morgan and Scully's relationship to finally take that next step. Um, but we're four seasons in. We're about to be five seasons in, bro. We're like, we're close. I don't know how many episodes this season has, but we're, we're 16 episodes in. It has, like, it probably has like 22, so we are, we're getting close. So I need Morning and Scully to speed it up, man. I need, I need some, like, you know, some form of relationship, you know, them to hit at something, you know. Um, but I'm just glad Scully's healthy, though, honestly. I'm really, really glad that she's okay and uh, just that everybody's okay, man. Like, uh, that was a good, it was a good moment that the word had when uh, we thought Scully was sick and all that stuff and she was going to die. Mortar, his feelings and all that stuff coming out. Uh, it was beautiful, honestly, and her feelings coming out, them just having all these moments, man, and her freaking out. Um, I'm just glad that that's kind of over, but I'm excited to see where it goes from here because uh, you've seen how much they truly care about each other, and they just, they just can't express it in the right way. Um, but I'm excited to see what happens, and uh, yeah, but thank you guys for all the support. X-Files, man, you guys are amazing. Fandom is amazing. Um, I really appreciate all you guys' support. Here on Patreon, on YouTube, everywhere. It's been amazing. Um, if you want the full and cover reactions on Patreon, just go over to the Patreon. That's all you got to do. Um, and they'll be there. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to stay about four or five episodes ahead of YouTube. So, yeah. And I'm going to be cutting YouTube videos down more. Um, I just don't want to get in any kind of trouble. So, I'm going to be cutting them down even more. Um, so, yeah. But... I appreciate all your support over here on Patreon. You guys are amazing. And uh, thank you guys. Let's keep growing. Let's keep uh, just thriving. Let's keep everything going. Let's, uh, let's keep doing our best. And uh, I'm getting close to 700 subscribers. I'm like 40-something away now. Like, I appreciate you guys so much. If you can, just go tell a friend, you know, get these videos around the community, you know, share it. And I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, let's get right to the episode. Here we go. U.S. Capitol, Monument, Vietnam, War, and all of these. One that I will never understand or forgive. Uh, There's a lot of people here. That is not free. All right, you're my eyes out there. Talk to me, oh, position report. Man. Yeah, I feel like I'd be too scared to go to a big rally or something like that. Way too wor worried, man. Dang, everybody's there, okay. Mulder. He's here. I feel him. And where is he? Hold on. I think I have him in Section 4. Can you confirm that, Scully? Dang. Positive ID. He's heading towards you three. Positions hold three and four. Do you have eye contact? I feel like it. I feel like it's him, but he has another shooter, or some or something. Whatever they're looking at, it's gonna be some something else. Mulder saw me. He's heading towards the sound booth. Copy that. I'm cutting him off. Talk to me, people. Does anybody have it? Man. Can come and thank. Bro, we're already getting into like nerve wracking stuff, bro. What's happening, Scully? Not for themselves, but for. I'm closing country. on him. You have him in three? Negative. I'm always struck by something as I. He just disappeared. Oh my gosh. Scully! I lost him. I lost him. Pick him up, Mulder. He's right in front of you. The hell? He's got a gun. Oh, what the heck? I can't see him. I can't see him. Bro, what the heck? This thing, this dude has like, he can be invisible? Yo, that's crazy. Heck? Oh, snap. Shoot. Oh. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? 
Private Burkholder's telling the truth, that he's innocent. Until we can find another suspect, the FBI will pursue the right hand and their leader, an ex-Marine named Denny Markham. Benefit of the general, or have you been able to develop a real strategy? Right now, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. You mean there's no procedure outlined for an invisible assassin? <laughs> Did you talk to Private Burkholder? I interviewed him and convinced him to take a polygraph test. And? He passed. The nature of his claims would suggest a false positive. The tester admitted that the results are highly interpretive. You heard a story, Mulder? Yeah, I found a story compelling personally, but then again, I believe it's the Warren Commission. Well, if I have to devise a strategy around that story, then there is no strategy. Somebody killed the general, which means somebody is not telling the truth. The man who heads the right hand, Markham. Do you have a warrant for him? Yes, why? Let Mulder and I serve it. One misstep. Markham smells a shakedown. He's going to disappear and find another way to push the button. And I've already seen more dead soldiers than I ever want to see. I'm glad he's trusting Mortar and uh, Scully. Oh! Bro. Wow, he set him up. Now you wanted to see me about the murder of General Peter McDougal. Am I under suspicion? No, but your group is, and Private First Class Gus Burkholder. Is that a name I should know? He's on the mailing list for the right hand. 2,000 names in that list. I can't keep track of every one of them. Well, we'd like to go over that list with you, sir. No way in hell you'd be getting that from me. We already have a copy if you'll just come with us. <sighs> Not going anywhere. Sir, we have a warrant for your arrest if you don't cooperate. Under the new anti-terrorism law, we can and will hold you until we get the information we want. Oh, shit. Yeah. There goes the neighborhood. You can make this as easy or as hard as you wish, sir. You don't believe him, do you? Well, what if he's telling the truth? A phantom POW left for dead comes back to avenge the injustices? Maybe the war ain't over, Scully. Well, maybe not Denny Markham's war. Well, given the facts of the case and Private Burkholder's polygraph test, it's the closest thing to an explanation that we've got. Or it's just a clever story being proffered as a cover-up for what is actually an elaborately orchestrated conspiracy. Well, there is that the dude is disappearing, though. They but saw Martin him. Take the polygraph. And what if he passes? He won't. He probably will. Renee Davenport? Yes. Wife of Lance Corporal Gary Davenport of the Special Forces. Oh, really sure. Yes, I'm sorry. Do I know you? No, ma'am. I've come to act on his behalf for the reason that Gary remains prisoner of war. Gary's dead. No, ma'am. May you forgive me as you forgive him as a man and a soldier. Okay. For restoring the honor and memory of the B-11. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to kill a bro. Oh, my God. Where did you get these? Who gave you these? Yeah. Oh, dang. Hey, where are you? I'm glad he gave it to her, though, bro, because that gives her so much peace, I'm sure. Closure. Is this dude good? Is this dude good? Is, this, is he a good guy? Hmm. Yes, that's him. Are you sure? Everything he said made it sound like Gary was still alive. That can't be true. You say he just disappeared? That's what's so strange. One minute he's standing right in front of me, and then he's gone. What if he was telling the truth? What if Gary is alive? Oh, 
tried to get on with my life. I remarried. What am I supposed to tell my husband now? Damn. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh, your eye. What? Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. What the, f what the heck? Just burst a capillary. Oh Holy god. crap. <laughs> Is that not bad? Like anything super serious? By all accounts, the man we're looking for, the man she saw, has a knack for vanishing in plain sight. Maybe there's a connection. Mulder, what she has is a simple subconjunctival hemorrhage. It's probably brought on by her emotional state. Nah. And how did she reach that emotional state? What about you? What are you going to do? I'm going to see if we're really chasing a dead man. Hello? General Stefan, this is Special Agent Fox Mulder with the FBI. I'm calling because we have reason to believe that your life may be in danger. What are you talking about? that the person or persons responsible for the murder of General McDougal this morning may have chosen to target you. Based on what information? Based on a death certificate that you may have put your signature on. A death certificate for Sergeant Nathaniel Teager. I don't know anything about that. Oh, my God! I'm on my way to the Pentagon right now. Listen, sir, I'm 10 minutes away. I'm going to have to ask you to trust my risk assessment on this and take every caution. Right. OK, do you know your driver, sir? Yes. He drives me all the time. Good. I'm going to put two FBI agents there to escort you just as a precaution. They have my mobile phone number, OK? How many? Oh, shoot. Oh. Bro, he is invisible, bro. So it went off, but he didn't see. Oh no. Oh no. Damn. Oh man. My god, bro. People are not understanding or not trying to see the other people's point of views. This is General Stephan. I found something on my desk. Something very troubling. Where are you? In my office. Uh, the agents I assigned to you, are they with you? No, no, they're just outside. Ah, oh, bro, you done for. I want you to call him into your office right now, General. Who put this here? Oh, Listen shoot. To me very careful, okay? I'm on my way over there. General oh, Stephan? shoot. General Stephan. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, no. Oh, man, bro. Oh, look at this dude. Holy crap, bro. That's so scary, man. Sir? I need both of you out here to see something. Now. Uh-oh. That's him. That's Tiger. Whoever it is, I want to know how the hell this happened. Neither of us has a clear explanation, sir. You were on your way here, Agent Mulder. You knew the general was in danger. I did everything I could. I put two agents with him. This is insanity. This man is killing at will. That's correct, sir. Well, he's unstoppable? Is that what you're telling me? I think the Tiger has an ability. The ability to effectively erase himself from the visual field. If he's invisible, then why is he on this video clear as day? But he doesn't see them. I think that he can hide himself from human sight by manipulating something that Scully has referred to as naturally occurring, a blind spot. That is conjecture, sir. You mean even if I'm looking at him? He might not be able to see him. Call it off. Parade or no parade, those men are going to be vulnerable. The only way to stop this killer is to catch him. How do we do that? By finding his next victim before he does. He did it again, didn't he? I told him he would. According to the FBI, you know the man they're looking for. Maybe you can tell me why they can't seem to find him. Same reason you can't. Which I imagine is the same reason you're here right now. Mm. I am here because people are dying. Soldiers who dedicated their lives to the defense of this country. I guess that's one way of looking at it. If you think I've got any sway with Tiger, you're mistaken. I just need to know what he wants. You know what he wants. And we both know you can't give it to him. I know. Um... Not without dragging that nice, clean uniform of yours through the mud. Oh. 
Whatever you do to me won't change his mind, General. He's sending a message and making damn sure everyone hears it loud and clear. Bro, this dude was just in plain daylight. You told me you were Oh, in her. Hey. Traffic's all snarled up because of the parade. You need information on America. Bro, I wouldn't mind these two getting together for a little bit. That would be good, honestly. Where did you come from? Tell me what you. A POW named Tiger may be back home carrying out death sentences against the men that left him in Vietnam. Who are those men? Generals, Stefan and McDougal. They have a connection. What is that? A recent news story extremely embarrassing to the U.S. military about the disposing of South Vietnamese soldiers. Men employed by our government as spies and commandos and then left behind enemy lines to certain capture and death. The operation was disavowed and their lives were erased from the records. By a secret three-man commission who may now be facing charges. Are you saying that our government wants these officers dead? Why would they ask us to protect them? Because they know you can't. Mm. That'd be, that's kind of crazy. Oh, sir, stop the car! What's going on here? We need you to get out of the car, sir, for your own safety. Why? We just received information your life might be in danger. From who? Shoot her! Get down! I hate the hell shoot. It's so bad, bro, because you can't Where see him. He was there! <laughs> It can disappear, bro. We just got to admit it, bro. Just admit it. He can disappear. So you think you're not seeing him, but you really are seeing him. I heard what happened. They told me you saved General Block's life. He's doing all right. He's over there. Right there. They told me you saw somebody on the parade route? I'm not really sure. You saw him, didn't you? You saw T. No, you saw him, Scully. Damn, man. Save Block's life or the other generals. What are you talking about? This case. Why do you think it was dumped in your lap? Unless heading up an anti terrorism detail is all of a sudden part of your job description. Well, that doesn't prove that he was set up. Well, they knew about Tiger. They've known that he'd be unstoppable from the beginning. You saying that they wanted Skinner to fail? And us. Given the nature of the case, they knew that you'd bring us in. Mulder, the government is not about to sacrifice the lives of Yes, they are. Scully, come on, brother. Scully, the government the is dirty. Secondary. Secondary to what? To maintaining their secret policy of denial about POWs, which required silencing the men who made that policy. I think Denny Markham's story is having its intended effect. I think you're buying into the lie, Mulder. I don't know. Denny Markham may be the only man in this case who's telling the truth. But if you don't believe me, why don't you ask General Block himself? Ask me what? Look, I can't wait around here any longer. I'm delivering the keynote address in five minutes. You might want to reconsider. He won't reconsider. Not going out there would be an admission of guilt. We still have reason to believe that your life is in danger. It's your job to protect me still, isn't it? That's what we're trying to do. Then do your job. See? Let him go out there, man. Let him go out there. People not trusting motor, bro. It's, bro, it's tell us all this time, bro. Just trust him. What is there not to trust? Why would he make up stuff? Saw you, man. Where are you? Behind you. Oh. I, I thought you were dead. That's what they told us. Because that's what they wanted you to believe. I don't understand. You will. After tonight. Hey. What are you talking about? I waited for them, Leo. I waited for them to come. Never came. Maybe they didn't know. They knew. They just figured letting me die off was easier than admitting the truth. It's all over, Tigger. It's been over for a long time now. Not for me. Not for the others. Hey. You're telling me there's more? Yeah, bro, you should have listened. You should have listened. Oh, okay, so we're back at this part. Okay. Positive ID. He's heading towards you, three. Positions hold three and four. You oh, have man. eye contact. Not too far from here. I have him in three. He's coming towards you, Scully. Black on that 
Don't take your eyes off him, Scully. Tiger's here. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, man. There's no cause for alarm, ladies and gentlemen. It's a minor disturbance. Let's try and keep the order. Where's General Bluff? Please, let's try we gotta stop him. What's going on here? I think he can only hide himself in somebody's direct line of sight. When you're looking directly at him? That's why he killed General McDougal and Stefan in close quarters. McDougal in his car and Stefan in his office. Get away from the car. He's in the car. Tigger's in the car. Get out! Get out! Damn. Get out of the car with your hands in the air. It's over, Tigger. Holy crap. Come on out. Shots actually hit him. Get in the ambulance over here. Tigger, Spaniel J. Sergeant Green Beret Detachment B11. Service number 822278. Date of birth March 7. is claiming that the man who was killed was a Thomas Lynch. He's a vet who's been in and out of VA psychiatric hospitals for the last 15 years. Wow. And the sometime member of the right hand. His name was on Denny Markham's mailing list. Markham made a positive ID. <sighs> they must have gotten to him. Army Forensics claims to have multiple confirmation. You heard him. We both did. Yeah, come on, it's Skinner. Happening come all on. Over again. They're covering the lies with more lies, trying to make him invisible. We've got to subpoena Markham and General Block, and we've got to petition the State Department to release Tigger's body. I can't do that, Agent Mulder. Why not? This investigation has been turned over to CID. It's no oh, longer boy, man. Don't let them do this. Let it go, Agent Mulder. You did your job. Oh, so did Nathaniel Tigger. You gotta stop letting I stuff found go. The man that you were looking for, but now he's dead. It's over. Is that what you believe? Is that what you really believe? No, They're not just it's denying not. this man's life. They're denying his death. And with all due respect, sir, he could be you. Damn. I feel like he's making some speak that's the talk motor. He's getting through the Skinner, man. Skinner knows, but I feel like since the cancer man, I feel like he's trying not to do anything crazy. Oh, uh, man. Tigger. Dang man, yeah, he he knows, he knows he needs to listen to Mortar. Okay, that was a good episode, man. Really crazy, intense, nerve wracking, just wow. Because this dude could disappear and you can't see him, and he's just killing people, man. Think about how scary that is. Think about it. If somebody could do that in real life, that's that would be scary. Um. But yeah, man, it's a good episode. I really enjoyed it, man. Nobody believes Mortar, and I don't understand because he's always right. When has he not been right? Tell me. I would love to know. Um, it still annoys me sometimes when Scully doesn't agree with Mortar or she doesn't believe because she knows. Like, and just think about what the possibilities. You know, what could happen, and all that. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just annoying sometimes, man. I wish that. She would just realize, you know, Mortar, why, why would he make up this? Why would he make something up, you know? Um, but this was a good episode, man. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I wish this that girl would stay around more, and I wish her and Mortar would get together. Just just to make Scully jealous, just so we can push this thing up forward and keep it going fast or speed it up, you know? Um but yeah, really enjoyed the episode. Let's wrap it up. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.